If this is your 10, right? This is your 10 for the battle. This is your $10, right? And this is his $10, right? It's a mutual loss. Now I leave with 20, you lost 10. If you come with $20, he don't bring nothing but a glass of water. Y'all should drink water. You put your 20 down, he put nothing down. If he beats you, he takes your $20 and you look crazy. I'm just saying, I don't think it's a smart idea. When you start rapping like that, hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Demise in my energy. I know you motherfuckers wanna get rid of me. I take a shot in my Hennessy as I say another prayer for my enemies. I look at the bodies and see no regrets. Cause my enemy still ain't put an enemy yet. The bringer of death has risen, so be cautious with steps. Cause lo and behold, yes, I am him in the flesh. Easy win to take all, nigga. Let's do something different. Let's do something different. Let's put 50,000 on the floor, win to take all. You don't got to put none of your money up. You don't got to put nothing up. 50000 on the floor, win it, take all. No deposit, no nothing, no nothing. No flights, you get yourself there. Don't Let's do none of that. Matter of fact, I got your flights. Don't worry about it. I got everything. 50000 on the floor, win it, take all. If I could get the 50000 what's up? It's that simple. It's worth it. Y'all don't think being easy is a $50,000 battle? Come on, bro. This is not, but the optics of it. The optics of it. Nah. Come on. Instead of you getting 25, I get 20. 50 sounds better than 25. Hey, why split that? Drop the 50 on the floor, man. October. That's it. I want. I want. I want to feel real pressure. I want to like, yeah. That's something to talk about. One battle, man. They doing whole tournaments for twenty five and fifty thousand. No one battle, fifty thousand on the floor, nigga. Fuck a tournament. I am the tournament. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Just finished my workout. Time to put some work out before I get the work out, right? Um, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content. And uh, subscribe to the channel and watch the recaps and comment and give us your thoughts and opinions. If you have not seen Rosenberg Raw vs. Jag, recap is out with myself and my brother Showtime SP. It's a lot of people. I ain't gonna hold you. This is one of the few battles that I've recapped in a while that a lot of people are feeling like. Jack got it. I mean, it is when you look at the comments, Jack, 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 man, I'm proud and I'm happy of Jack and his resurgence. I told him last night, I'm glad to see that he's continuing to grow and I hope he gets bigger names and bigger names. But, John, John, and Don, let's get into it. So I heard about this yesterday. I didn't say anything about it because I let, you know, I said there's a bunch of other blogs and people talking about it. I let everybody get theirs out because I know they love to say, Vada got a narrative. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. He's painting a narrative or whatever the case may be. So I, I let it go because I would talk about it today, right? And uh, so everybody else is out. This is the final opinion. You know what I'm saying? I know my opinion is big. I know a lot of people will watch it and talk about it and things like that. And I totally appreciate it. But here's the deal, right? I watched like a blog or two. I seen Chris Unbiased. As a matter of fact, he's the only blog that I actually watched. I seen the titles coming down my timeline. And um, he's talking about trying to battle or have an easy battle with $50,000 on the floor, when it takes all. Here's why this is not a smart situation, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not painting the narrative, I'm just calling like I call it so I can't spoil it. I'm, as, I'm, as I'm watching this, I'm reading the comments, you know what I'm saying? And it's saying you're just trying to avenge losing the surf and things like that. But what does easy, <laughs> like, what does easy got going on right now that all of these top tier, everybody, yo, he just, him and Shadi Harbour's going back and forth to battle on King of the Dot. 
He's going back and forth with Gichi Gotti, John John Adon. It used to be the lower named MC would have to chase up. You know what I'm saying? Take them to chase up. Jack Boy had to get to a John John Adon battle. Other people had to earn their way up. It's like Easy's in the catbird seat and all of y'all are aiming up for him like he's the veteran or he's the legend or he's been here for 15 years or 10 years or been here since the golden era. Nigga just got here like two years, three years ago. I mean, he came, he went to jail, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But he's back out, he went on this winning streak, bounced on the URL, I'm out of here. And now all of y'all are doing this, bro, $50,000, while there's this great amount of money. If you the only one taking a risk, he coming, so he gonna get to come there, battle, potentially win. A lot of people gonna have him favored, even on your league, it is what it is. This is not an average, I'm just calling like Carlos, I can't spoil it. If I put up a poll, they would pick him winning. It, that's just that. Like, we're not doing no narratives today. We're calling it like it is. You said it's about the optics, so I'm giving I'm giving you a perspective, right? So, $50,000 on the floor. He's going to come into your house, be favored to win, and potentially walk out with the money, and then he's such a smart businessman, he's going to want to share the pay-per-view too. What do you stand to gain from a situation like this? And then it's all the way in October. Um, another thing is this, right? Uh... Easy the black captain is gonna to want a to percentage. He's smart. He's gonna want a percentage of the pay-per-view. He he will. He's not gonna do this just for the 50. He's gonna want a percentage of the pay-per-view. So you gotta pay him a percentage of the pay-per-view and potentially have fifty thousand dollars on the floor that could be lost. And then you have to go even further that there's certain people who if this happened, they would love to see you lose just to say you lost fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> um so I was thinking, right? And I was thinking about the errors and you know different errors in battle rap and things like that. And I was thinking about the golden age when it first, first, first started. I was thinking about Murder Mook and Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? When Murder Mook first came out, had Cassidy. Uh, I know somebody up at J Records. He be with you every day. First of all, man, I hear this motherfucker talking all crazy on the smack shit or whatever about such and such. He, you know what I'm saying? He, I ain't speak to nobody he was with. First of all, man. We direct, I, see, we know somebody directly up at full surface, man. We speaking to niggas. I'm not even going, you know what I'm saying, say a nigga name because you with the nigga every day, man. He was painting and all of that, and we motherfucking, we went to the nigga that he was painting and shit. We like, yo, man, nigga want to battle move, man. Move want to battle the nigga, man. With this nigga, nigga like, yo, B. Cassidy ain't on that battle and shit no more. But I'm just reading the motherfucking magazine about how you talking about he the battle champion, how he the battle king. Like, who really did you, you talking about who, what you know me from, what battles do I know you from but one? I don't know, like dog, who did you kill? Honestly, like who did you, what, what, what's up with you, dog? And then he talking about he's 20,000, ain't in, listen, any street nigga would know, man. I'm nigga, man, I'm in the motherfucking street. Any street nigga would know, who can't use $20,000, man? That Everybody be acting like you be acting like 25,000 ain't enough. Y'all don't remember. See, I'm from that era. I am from back then. You repping your crew, stepping the who? I don't eat pussy, but I make the exception for you, and you know what the weapon to do. I don't fuck. I, I told tools like construction workers, and I want to talk to your boss because I don't fuck with workers. To each his own, I keep the chrome. This nigga's so ugly, we should have battled on a speakerphone. Y'all niggas don't know about the party arty days. Shout out to the niggas who remember the party arty days. I was there for that. You know what I mean? I was there for that. <laughs> Clayton Powell, Harlem World. Yeah, yeah, I used to work downtown in Manhattan on um, 42nd Street. And we used to come up town, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from the Bronx, so we'd take the train uptown. A lot of the times we'll stop in Harlem because the Rucker was there, Chicks was there, VIM was there. Uh, all the stores was in Harlem, so you'll stop in Harlem, and one day, right up the street from the train station, they had all these niggas outside. It was like a, like, like a damn a zoo. It was like a thousand niggas out there, right? And it was like, what the hell is going on over there? So me, my man Ant, my man Lance, we walk up, we walk up that way, and it's Murder Moot versus Party Artie. Shit gets shut down. Niggas had to walk to the projects to finish it. I remember those days, right? So now we're in a day and age of where. The top tier MCs are challenging down. Like he put a 50 grand on the floor for him. Like, and I'm not saying he's not worth it. It's definitely a fifty thousand dollar battle. But more so, fifty thousand if both parties are involved and there's a mutual loss or a chance for a loss on both people. Easy going down there. If he even lost 3-0, which is very, very far to fathom, 
If he lost 3-0 to you, what does he lose? I mean, yeah, the word and the reputation and shit like that. Yeah, he'd lose that. But at the same time, he's not losing no money. He's not losing no money. You beat him for 50000 that you put on the floor. All you're doing is picking up your money, pay-per-view in the door, which would probably be great money. But at the same time, <laughs> it's no real loss. So I found $20 on the floor, you know what I'm saying? Earlier, I be playing with my kids sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I roll on the floor, I drop $20, right? So if this is your 10 right? This is your 10 for the battle. This is your $10, right? And this is his $10, right? It's a mutual loss. Now I leave with 20, you lost 10. If you come with $20, he don't bring nothing but a glass of water. Y'all should drink water. You put your 20 down, he put nothing down. If he beats you, he takes your $20 and you look crazy. I'm just saying, I don't think it's a smart idea. And I'm not hating. John John, you know I fuck with you. You know I've seen you in Atlanta. Uh, you know, I will go to one of you. I will go to y'all event. If this happens, I'm there. You ain't even gotta, you don't even have to inbox me, DM. You don't have to say nothing, bro. If you and him battle, I will go. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and the thing is, I love Atlanta, but I hate Atlanta. I hate y'all airport. I hate the traffic. I hate waiting through TSA for two hours to get through. But for you, my dog, I will do it. No questions asked. But I just got, I, I want to know what is the end goal here. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can make some real shit happen with 50 racks. But to potentially lose it to an easy to block captain, who? All right, let's go even further. Your last two battles with Sue Surf and Chef Trez. I seen both. I recapped the surf battle, I didn't recap the Trez battle. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't really worth it. It was not worth it, I'm gonna be all right. I, I watched it. For somebody that y'all had like history and stuff like that, that battle really, it, it was just okay. It's a watchable battle. I mean, I kind of got you winning 2-1, but when I squint my eye and look to the side, I could find two rounds that I could give to him. Uh, I like that with the King done, but I still feel like the setup sometimes is a little too long and drawn out. And at this point, he's getting straight to the punch. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like, bro, I never seen him rebound off the glass. Like, bro, this nigga has ground shattering moments. Those, what you did versus uh, Trez and what you did versus Surf is not enough. You're not going to beat that nigga with that. I'm telling you right now. You, this is not a narrative. Well, what you did in your last six rounds, you would not get a round from that nigga. Period. Am I lying? If I'm lying, you got my number, John John. Whoever needs it, they got it. They can find it. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. The last six rounds that you had would not beat the last six rounds that you had. I'm sorry. And I'm just trying to, I'm actually giving you some, some sound advice here. Not knocking it if you do it. Hey, to each his own. I respect what you do from a legendary perspective. I could never rap as good as you do. And I would never win at the amount of battles that you have. But this right here is crashing out. I'm sorry. I just got to call like a call so I can't spoil it. I mean... And like I said, I'm the last one. I'm one of the last ones to talk about it because I want everybody else to get, let them get their content out too. You know what I'm saying? I let the feed breathe sometimes. I'm not going to drop my shit when everybody else is at the same time. No, 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 no. I drop my shit here. Whoever watches it, watches it. And it is what it is. Um, but if you do it, so be it. I will watch it. I will be there. I will support it. But uh, I, I don't think that it's a really a win a win situation for you. Like even if you beat him, what do you gain? You know what I'm saying? Because then he could. There's always ways to flip the narrative. You know, I battled him in his home league. Blah blah blah. You battle Ace down there. You battle Ace down there. Right? He did. He battled Ace. I bought the pay per view. I saw it. Even if you won, was it? Did you clear him? You didn't clear him. The, last, the one of the last niggas that was new like that that you had them type of issues with was Jack. You cleared Jack. You haven't cleared no other nigga that you had friction with like Jack. Want to chain back Jack? Then go get it. Oh, you haven't cleared a nigga like that. You think you could clear Easy like that? Cause Easy's better than Jack. Easy's better than Ace too. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> if a nigga had a choice to start a league and he could pick both of them or just Easy, I don't even have to finish the sentence. That's what I'm saying. There's no disrespect to no MC because, yo, yo, your talent is what it is. But this nigga's so high up. He got Shadi Haro and, and King of the Dot ready to bring this nigga to Canada. He got King of the Dot. He got niggas ready to, ready to risk they throw it all out. He got Geechee ready to battle this nigga on RPE. Yo, yo, this man Geechee told this motherfucker yesterday, I will battle you on Red Breed Entertainment. This nigga Geechee been the face of the URL for the last four, three, four years. Yeah, he just said basically, man, fuck all that. I'm rolling with Rockefeller because they got money, man. I don't know if he was trolling or he was bowling, but he said it. 
And ARP, I trust and believe he's on that phone trying to make that shit happen. And the reason why I see a lot of other MCs going down the easy route is because with everything that happened, what resistance was there? A couple of emails, you know what I'm saying? A couple of emails, a couple of phone calls. You think niggas for the for the limelight and the opportunity and the, and the, and the, and the fame that Easy got off of this Hitman value? The niggas ain't willing to risk a couple of emails. They don't give a fuck about no. You man, you can email me on what I want, nigga. I ain't checking no motherfucking email. I'm out with this bitch. You think artists don't want that? Artists don't want to be on Joe Button podcast. Artists don't want to be on other things that Easy got going on. And when you hear about what's, I ain't even gonna say it. When you hear, when you see and hear about what he got going on next, niggas is gonna be even madder. I'm telling you right now. Cause I know I'ma keep my mouth shut because you know I'ma let you see it. But uh, yeah, man, I'ma be honest with you, John John. I respect you. I respect your legacy. I respect Bullpen. But when Murder Mook was coming up and put twenty thousand up versus Cassidy, Cassidy was like, "That ain't nothing." Now Murder Mook won't even take twenty five thousand. That's just crazy. It's crazy how the errors change. But I don't know, man. Yo, I'm about to go get my son some lunch with this $20 before I go to work. John John, don't be tardy for the party. If a nigga gonna bring 10, you bring the other 10. Do not spend your own 20 on lunch is all I'm saying. But if you want something towards that 50,000, I could give you the 10, you know what I'm saying? I put $10 on it, but the other 10 I gotta go use and shit. But uh, other than that, man, you know what I'm saying? Workout, make sure y'all get the workout. I had to get the workout, man, and I'm gone. Dang it. I feel demise in my energy. I know you motherfuckers wanna get rid of me. I take a shot in my Hennessy as I say another prayer for my enemies. I look at the bodies and see no regrets. Cause my enemy still ain't put an enemy yet. The bringer of death has risen, so be cautious with steps. Cause lo and behold, yes, I am him in the flesh.